Hi, I'm Rob Parkins, Brio Ambassador, and today we're going to talk about hopper dropper fishing. For fishing this technique, my favorite rod is the Sage X in a 5 weight, and I usually match it up with the Rio in touch perception. I use a 7.5 foot 3X leader to the hopper, and off the bend of the hopper hook, I use the Rio Floroflex Plus in 4X. Let's take it out there, rig up, and see if we can get some fish. This is one piece of water that we look for when we're using the hopper dropper technique. It's a pretty little riffle, it's under two feet in depth, and it's a great place where we have fish that aren't really keyed on anything that we could put a dry fly over them, but it's also used as an indicator for the nymph. And that allows us to look for fish that are feeding in two different water columns. We rig it up, we start with the dry fly, and then from the bend of the hook, about 18 inches down, we'll put on a pheasant tail or some other kind of nymph. Um, I generally like to use tungsten beaded nymphs, so when we're floating where it's deep, uh, the fly's going to get down and it's going to go in the water column. So what we're looking for in this particular piece of water is we have a shallow riffle and then a drop off. Most likely the fish are going to be sitting right at the drop off waiting for food. So I'm going to cast up high and that's going to allow the nymph to settle down and be at, the cert at a certain depth by the time it gets to the drop off. So what I do is I cast up onto the drop off and I'm going to mend and I'm going to just strip in a little bit of line, make sure I get a nice dead drift and it goes over and goes down through the riffle. I'm just going to feed out a little line to keep that natural drift going for another 10, 15 feet, whatever it is that I'm fishing. What I'm looking for when I'm doing this is I'm obviously hoping that a fish will come up and eat the dry fly, but if it doesn't, the dry fly is acting as an indicator. If that darts or if it does anything out of the ordinary and I'm not getting a dead drift, I want to set the hook and at least check to see if something is eating the nymph. He ate the dry. So this fish right here ate the dry fly as it was going through the heart of the riffle. Come on. Here's a beautiful Idaho cutthroat from the South Fork. There we go. And it's that easy. And that's how we hopper dropper fish. I hope you learned a new technique to put in your fishing arsenal. Please stay tuned for more videos from the Rio How To series. And thank you for watching. Yeah.